Hello everyone. Long time no see. I feel like we haven't vlogged in 10 years. Um, it's not like we've been doing much. We really haven't. Hey buddy, come on inside. Okay, so um, first of all, a lot's happened with the house and we've got a house tour coming maybe at the end of this vlog. You'll know if this thumbnail says house tour, um, but I'm gonna start with, ooh, look at all of our dirty dishes Eric needs to take care of. Eric's job is dishes. They don't always get done in a timely manner. He's not gonna like me saying that. Um, but anyway, Eric, you can cut that out. I'm just being silly. You do a great job at dishes and I love you very much. And all those dishes are nice and rinsed out um, and don't have any gunk on them. And I've asked him to do better at that and he has done better at that. So great job, honey. You don't have to include any of this. I just don't want you to get mad at me. Love you, bye. Okay, so, but before we do our house tour, um, because it's gonna be maybe a day or two. We're gonna work on totally getting everything finished and how we want it this weekend. Um, and today's Friday, I'm so happy. Um, so that will probably be coming at the end of this vlog. But the first thing I want to do is I just went out and grocery shopped. I went to my two favorite places, Costco, which is literally in my heaven. I immediately want to climb on all the big size things there. Um, and Aldi, which I love. Um, and I wanted to show you our hauls from them so that you can see um, how they're both really great places to get a good deal, but in like much different ways. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of what you can get at each place for the amount of money I spent. Um, this haul is probably gonna last us the whole month. I made a list that um, we go off of, we meal plan. Um, but I also got a little bit of extra stuff um, just because the stores had it. They were nice and stocked, both of them. Um, there weren't a lot of crazy people. I, of course, wore a mask and gloves, and most people there were wearing masks and gloves too um, and doing really good. But um, I will show you what we got so that you can see. So I love Costco. That's what we're going to do first because it's kind of a one-stop shop for stuff that... Um, lasts you the whole month so like non-perishable or like perishable stuff but that lasts for a while so i'm going to show you what we got everything we got at costco cost 165 dollars i think our monthly grocery um budget is 400 dollars, and so um we probably will not need to go to costco again for another month so let me show you everything we got so we get bread at Costco because it's a really good deal. So I'll put this one in the pantry and then I'll freeze this one. Um, so we should, we might need to restock on bread halfway through the month, but um, we'll see. And we get their eggs because you can get cage-free eggs, five dozen. I think this costs like $4 or something crazy like that. Um, so it's five dozen. Eric eats eggs for breakfast every single morning. So this usually lasts him about a month. We typically have to like the last week of the month, get like a small carton from Target or something just to get him through. But this lasts most of the month. And then our favorite guilty pleasure are these frozen mini tacos. They are literally so delicious and we love them so much. Um, I also got two things of regular ham because Eric likes that with his eggs in the morning. And that definitely will last probably more than a month. I also found we love um, Costco's ham. It's like pre-cooked and you just warm it up. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. So they had them, we typically, um, they only have full size hams for like 20 bucks, which is still a really good deal. But this one, they had half hams, which I thought was so cool. So it was only 10 bucks. Um, and then since we're at home more, I went ahead and got Costco milk. I normally don't get milk at Costco because we don't typically go through a lot of milk. Um, but since we've been home, like Eric makes coffee every day, I usually have cereal for breakfast. So we've been using a lot more milk than normal. So I got uh, milk at Costco. And then Eric loves taquitos. We got taquitos. Again, when we're feeling super lazy and don't want to actually cook, those are our guilty pleasures, mini tacos and taquitos. And then I also got, because we are, um, we were meal planning hamburgers this month, um, and I knew we would buy more buns than what we needed for the meat we were going to buy for hamburgers, so I knew we would have extra buns left over. So I found this at Costco for 10 bucks, and I've tried it before at like a work thing a long time ago and it was really really good so i was like oh my gosh for 10 bucks i'll try it and we can use up the rest of our buns with it um and then we got a giant bag of grapefruits because grapefruit is like one of my favorite things ever i eat a lot of grapefruit 
Okay, then we got these pot stickers, which are actually surprisingly like pretty good for you. Um, we steam them or sometimes we'll like fry them in a pan, um, but they're like delicious, number one, and they're um, not too bad for you. So then I got Eric coffee because he's been going through a lot of coffee. Um, and then I got, I typically have these with lunch, this baked mix of chips that I love. If you've never tried baked Cheetos, oh my gosh, they're so good. And then we got a giant case of Diet Dark Pepper and Coke Zero because Eric and I have a problem and we're addicted to both of them. Well, I'm not addicted to Coke Zero and he's not addicted to Diet Dark Pepper. We're addicted um, separately to one of them each. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, so we got all that from Peep Our Dirty Floors. Hey, buddy, it's okay. We got all that from Costco for... Kylo, be quiet. We got all that from Costco for $165. So I thought that was really great. It will definitely last us... It will definitely last us the whole month. Okay, so let's talk about Aldi. This is what we got at Aldi. That's This is where I like to get our more fresh ingredients and our, like meal plan ingredients so like for dinners and stuff this is where we get pretty much everything that goes into it veggies and fruit we get at aldi just all of our more like perishable stuff because it is so cheap you guys if you don't shop at aldi you're insane um we love it it's awesome so i'm not going to show you everything we got just because it's more like typical normal stuff i did get some ice cream corona life you know i got these brioche buns for our hamburgers that we're gonna do and then the pulled pork will do too um what i do want to talk about at aldi is all the meat that they have so i got this is like having focusing problems um two things of ground beef one half one giant one a thing of shrimp um chicken like a crap ton of chicken drumsticks and bacon um so aldi always has really good deals on meat so um we got all this at aldi so this only costs like a hundred dollars at aldi all this all these fresh ingredients all that meat um you really can't beat it and i also got like tide pods which were i think like 12 bucks or something and paper plates and some other stuff that we just needed um that aren't really perishable stuff but we got all this giant haul all this food that takes up our whole counter that will really last us most of it will last us the whole month um we will need to go probably to aldi in a couple of weeks and just get like stuff we run out of like we'll probably need some more milk we'll probably need some more eggs probably need some more fruit and maybe some more veggies um but for the most part like we're dang near stocked for the whole month and I spent less than $300, like 270 bucks, um, which I think is really good. So we have 130 left that we will use to um, restock on certain items, like I said, that we'll probably run out of. But also um, any money we don't use for, whoops, there goes some cheese. Any money we don't use for, um, groceries that we don't need at the end of the month that's left over we put in what we call drawer money which is fun money that we can do literally anything we want with so it's just extra budgeted money that already had a place that we didn't end up using for the month um that's apart from like savings or any other type of like um bills or any money we put aside for specific stuff um I don't know why I'm still showing you the things. I'll show you my face. But and aside from any money that we save or any money that we use to pay bills or whatever, um, our money that is budgeted specifically for like groceries or gas or entertainment that we don't use, we put it in our drawer money. We call it our drawer money because it literally is in a drawer over there. Um, and we can just use it on whatever we want. So if we want to buy a brand spanking new TV, then... If there's money in the drawer to do it, we're not going to feel guilty about it because we're not pulling it from savings. We're not pulling it from grocery money that month or entertainment that month. It's just extra money that we can use for whatever. So I anticipate that we will probably have some extra money from groceries this month um, to put into our drawer fund. So that's really cool. Another thing that's been kind of a Corona icing on the cake has been um, our gas budget is $200 a month. Um, we are not using hardly any of that. So we'll have a lot of extra drawer money because of 
Corona, we're not really going anywhere. Um, we'll probably put close to 200 and f well, probably close to 150 in there. I bet we'll only use 50 on gas this whole month. Um, especially because gas prices are so low, which is so sad for the oil industry. Um, but that is a little tiny silver lining. Um, if you want to know more about how we do budget, Eric and I have been really good at sticking to our budget lately now that we've sold our house and all that kind of craziness with finances is over. Um, we're doing super good at budgeting. So if you want to know more about that, which maybe you do, maybe you don't, I'm just kind of a budgeting nerd and I love to talk about it. So if you want to hear more, let me know. Yeah, that's all I've got right now. We'll probably pick it up and have a nice weekend vlog for you that ends in a home tour. We'll see. All right, bye guys. You got some more hair on your head. Coming back slowly but surely. Why are you? We got it a that surprise. Way? Aren't you? Well, because I was about to show the surprise. Oh. We got a surprise. <laughs> At a six I foot love. distance. <laughs> Wait, it's not showing them well. Well. Hi, vloggies. Don't get vloggies. closer. What are you doing? Tatum brought homemade cookies. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna eat them all. <laughs> Thanks, T. Yeah. That was so nice. I missed your face. <laughs> I missed my sister. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks bye. for coming bye. over. Bye. See you tonight for game night on Zoom. Okay. Bye, vlog. Bye, vlog. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Um, so, Miley ordered us something for uh, social distancing to get outside and be a bit more active. We've been going on walks, but she ordered bicycles. So, bicycles came in. So, it's Saturday. Um, I'm going to put them together and see if we can't go for a bike ride later. So, yeah, I'll see how this goes. You guys. We're going on a bike ride. Did I just speak English? I said we're going on a bike ride. Hello vlog. We are preparing for an adventure. I don't know why it's not out of focusing. Okay, so we got bikes. I don't know why this pandemic has turned me into an outdoor person, but it has. What do you have to say about that, Scrim? Oh. Okay, show us your bike. Here's my Don't bike. mind our lovely pile of crap. Here's my bike. I'm not like the biggest fan of the color. It's like a mint green. I like the black. I like the black matte. I wish it were just like black matte or that this was a different color, but you know what? This is what we could find, so that worked for my height. Um, because funny story, I ordered two of these bikes on Walmart. And I thought, oh, it'll be fine. The uh, men's bike versus women's bike is just a gender construct that's not real. They're made totally the same. They've got to be. They're just adult bikes. Nope, nope I was wrong. This was one uh, feminist uh, stance, that... stance that didn't really need to be taken because there is a difference between men and female or men and women's bikes, and that's okay. <laughs> um, so we ended up having to take the men's bike that was way too tall for me back, um, and we got this women's bike instead. So there's that. How are your wheels looking, Scrimpy? I don't know yet. Okay, well, we're gonna test them out and see what happens. We'll let you know. What is up, everybody? We just got back from our very first bike ride. Okay, first of all, that was so fun. Second of all, I'm very glad we bought bikes. Great investment. Third of all, what did we just do? We live in a very hilly neighborhood, and the bike that Miley picked out for herself is a single gear. 
so she didn't have any help with the hills. I wasn't intending to work out. <laughs> like, that was not the purpose of these bikes. I understand now that the universe was just telling me, Miley, get your booty into gear because you need to work out and become more active and healthy and lead a better lifestyle. Well, um, we don't show the Empire Slice box that's right behind us that we had for dinner. Yeah, let's talk about what we've been eating this week. Remember last vlogs when we were doing so good at meal planning? I feel like we did an okay job. <laughs> eating healthily-ish. We did good that first one every week. This week has been horrid. I think that bike ride was what I needed. Who knew biking was exercise, you guys? Like, oh my god. Um, I've eaten a lot of ice cream and... um. Baked Cheetos. Um, yeah. So I think that that bike ride was the universe telling us, get your butts back into gear. Keep eating healthily because you bought bikes. You're going to use bikes. And guess what? They're a workout, apparently. Who even knew? I was just doing it for leisure. I'm drinking water. My body started craving water. It's like... Does Diet Dr. Pepper not flow through my veins? You know what I'm saying? Like, I worked out on a bicycle, and I'm drinking water. I went outside on a bicycle, and I'm drinking water. It's like, also, I have a middle part. <laughs> I don't know who I am. This quarantine is making me a whole not different on human. Self-quarantine. I think that's appropriate to say, as long as you put self in front of it now, right? That's what I've heard. I mean, we went to Walmart today. Yeah, we did go to Walmart. We're not going to talk about that. It was bad. Walmart was so bad. Don't go there. All right. Well, our puppies are calling for us. Calling for us. And I'm going to bed because they exhausted all of my energy on that legitimately maybe 15 minute bike <laughs> yeah, ride. I mean, it was not a long bike ride. All right. Oh, and house tour to come. Maybe tomorrow. tomorrow? Yeah. We'll see. Bye. Bye. What's up, everybody? Hello, everyone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you want to try that again? Nope. <laughs> okay. um, everybody needs to see the way you treat me. Um, so the time has finally come. Miley is ready to uh, give a official... Well, like 87% ready. Um, house tour of just the front of the house. Not, not the bedrooms or anything, right? Well, we'll show the bedrooms later. I just am too lazy to do it right now. So maybe in another vlog, we'll show you the back part of the house. But obviously the whole process of getting furniture and everything for out here has been a pretty central theme of the vlog, so. And like a central theme of our Corona lives because um, I am such a shopper. Like I love going out, picking things out, like feeling them, touching them, comparing colors, like piecing things together. Yep. Couldn't do any of that. Had to do it all online. I found a lot of really cool new um, stores and things online that I never would have known about otherwise. So that was kind of a silver lining to all this. Yeah. Um, we should totally show them though what um, our package mountain from all the stuff that's come in. I let's mean, let's show them that like at the end of the vlog. Two thirds of it left. Okay. Which it's been taken off. You'll know what we're talking about in a second after we go through the house door. So here's my disclaimer. You better put this in. We'll see. Um, the house is like 87% of the way done. So I'll point out along the way, like things we're still waiting on, um, some stuff that hasn't arrived, things like that. Some things that we're still trying to tweak. But for the most part, I think 87% is a good, um, Point. I think that's where we're at. Yep. So, yeah. Let's go. This is the house. There's the front door behind us. This is the hall. The mirror. I've already showed them the hall. I know. Um, the only thing left, Rug. I need to get, we gotta like actually not show us. We gotta like fan the rooms and stuff too because this is not a good tour. Like they can't see us. I know they can't see us, which is the problem. I mean, they can see us. So, so in the hall, the only thing left is this giant wall right here. Oh, so here. they can see you. They just won't get to no, see me. No, I, uh, <laughs> Scrumpy. Like I was saying, 
This wall, we've got two big art pieces coming that are like kind of pink and red and rainbowy and blue and green and cool um, with like really cool like inlaid um, gold frames that'll go really nice with this whole aesthetic in um, in the hall. So this rug is from Target. Literally got it for like $27 on clearance. It was awesome. Um, this little table is from All Modern. All Modern is like a little more upscale version of Wayfair. In fact, I think they're the same company. And this, we've talked about this mirror, my wonderful, awesome fabric mirror from West Elm, which I'm obsessed with. Do you want to take them in the living room or in the dining room? I do not care. Let's go dining room shot. So, make sure you fan the whole room. Make sure you get it, you know what I'm saying? Do you want to work the camera? Maybe, let me try. Okay, here's the dining room. Tell them about the dining room, Eric. This is where we dine. Um, so these chairs have been here for a while, but we got these chairs in. You're gonna pull them out so they can see how cool, cool they are. I'm in the middle of doing it. Okay. Kind of short arms, but really cool design, cool colors. Where'd they come from? Um, not West Elm. Mm-mm. Wayfair? No. Article. They came from Article. I don't know. Um, what about the rug? Tell them about the rug. And then this rug is, I think we talked about this, the two rugs. Yeah, I, I think I've shown the rug, but, but this is our from, ruggable rug. They're from Ruggable. They have a mat underneath them that they Velcro down to, so you can just tear them up, throw them in the wash if anything ever happens to them. Um, I've shown the bookshelves. I've tweaked the bookshelves a little bit as we've gone and the cool chandelier that I used to hate, but now I love with the whole vibe of the room. Um, I just love those chairs. They may be my favorite purchase. Um, and also what I forgot to show last time, which Eric did not appreciate was our board game shelves. So Eric, how about you talk about this? These are where we keep our board games. Tell them about what kind of board games we like to play. Like, it, it's not like the game of life in Monopoly. We oh, don't no, play no, no. that. These, like, you can tell, like, probably the most mainstream one that we have up here is... Settlers well, we of Catan. We have a or, copy of Clue. Um, it's Disney World Clue that came straight from the Haunted Mansion, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Oh, it's not focusing. Ah. Oh, well. Um, yeah, Settlers of Catan, but then we have just a... A whole bunch of different, like, bunch of European-style games, some American-style board games, a bunch of card games. Um, but yeah, we like to do board game nights, have fun with friends and stuff like that. When we can actually see friends. Which one's, which game is your favorite, Eric, would you say? Oh, I don't know. I, my favorite's this one, which is fairly mainstream for, um... Board game people. Board game people is Ticket to Ride. I love to go Ticket to Ride. Um, it's oh, always been my fave. Um, oh yeah, Cranium's pretty mainstream. Probably, I really like... Uh, um, Alien Frontiers is a lot of fun. Um, it's a really cool game. Um, Secret Hitler is really fun. Um, half, like, there's a handful of these that I haven't gotten a chance to play yet. For right now, we've just got this really cool extra chair. I honestly have no idea where this chair came from. It's... It's been uh, in my house since I was born, pretty much. I'm sure it's very old from my family way back. It's really cool. Um, I love it. I stole it from my dad, like when I was in college and never gave it back. But this piece of art is maybe my favorite piece of art in the whole house. Um, my dad surprised my mom with a trip to Puerto Rico to see the um, Puerto Rican version of Hamilton that Lin-Manuel Miranda was doing for three weeks in Puerto Rico only as a fundraiser. Priced her with a trip to Puerto Rico to see Lin-Manuel Miranda in Hamilton. And it just so happened that it was um, about a month before my birthday. And so they bought me this piece of art from the streets of Puerto Rico that is a feminist retelling of The Last Supper. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to ask my dad. Okay, so in here is my office. It really is my office right now. It's acting as my work from home space. Um, so we've talked about this cool couch, our cool painting. I've decorated my shelves finally with some more like Miley centric stuff that doesn't um, 
necessarily work well on our shared bookshelf. This is a lot of Miley stuff. Um, but, and then here's my desk over here, which, ugh, don't show it too much because it's real junky right now. I've got like extra office supplies from my office and all these cords and cardboard, literally cardboard that came in one of the many boxes to block off these windows so that the dogs don't go under my desk and bark like crazy at everything they see. Um, so this room is where the saga of the rugs has been happening. Sit back, relax, let me tell you about this ish, people. <laughs> Okay, so um, how many rugs have I returned from this room? Four? I think four. I've ordered a fifth rug. Every rug I order, I order it and I immediately hate it when I put it down in here. And do you know how hard it is to repackage and return a freaking rug? It's really hard. I'm a pro at it now because I've done it four times. Hopefully I won't have to do it a fifth time. I really think the rug that I've ordered this time is going to be perfect and it's going to work great. It's red, like bright red and it has these same kind of blue tones, some pink and some green. So hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I think I'm just gonna send it back and just be rugless in this room. All right, moving on. And we did get, we did cave and got literal baby gates for our babies, our stinking dogs that love to go to these windows and bark. So we got some gates to block them off from that which aren't aesthetically the best thing ever in the whole world, but especially since we're home constantly now, it was needed. The kitchen is largely the same since we, like we haven't gotten any new stuff in the kitchen except for this rug. That's true, it's just the kitchen. We've got these awesome bar stools from West Elm that we've had since our last house. And we've got some new baking sheets and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I still need a piece of art to go over the sink and I need some sort of something to put up in that like display area. So, um, my boss, Chris, was telling me, so he's super into like tiny homes, um, just small living, like he doesn't want to go full like sub 400 square feet tiny home. Um, but he, he definitely likes the idea of downsizing from his uh, current home. And he was telling me a story about um, a woman who obviously when you're like being eco-conscious with your living situation, you don't have a dishwasher because it's a huge waste of electricity and water. Um, as I gesture to our dishwasher that's, <laughs> that's running. literally running. Um, so you just wash all your dishes by hand. Uh, but part of the issue is that drying them, you typically have a drying rack that you have to like have something underneath it so they drip dry and it takes up a lot of counter space, which is not conducive to uh, small home living. And she literally has something like this. It's a little bit lower. There's no light under it. And it closes, like there's uh, cabinet doors on it but there's no bottom. It's just a built-in dish rack. And so she washes them oh, and sticks them up there so and then smart. can close it and it drips down into the sink. But when she has people over, they don't see. How funny is that? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we don't live in a tiny home because we get divorced within five seconds. That's true. Okay, but you didn't talk about your coffee bar at all. I mean, it's been here. It's a Keurig K Cafe and then uh, these four little mini drawers. I have no idea what their intended use is. We just keep. We shop at Costco, so we buy like K cups in the hundreds. Um, like my once favorite. Every other month. My favorite thing on this coffee bar is uh, Tatum's. Yes, we got cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, round two. Um, and then there's like cookbooks over here and dog treats, so that we can compel our dogs to come inside when we want them to come. So inside. here is our new rug. We got it from Overstock.com, and let me just tell you, this is the greatest deal I have um, come across in all of my online extravaganza shopping. So um, my dad is a huge fan of like hand knotted, woven wool, like Persian style rugs. Um, I love that look. Obviously they're pretty expensive. And so I knew I couldn't fill my whole house with like Persian actual real 100% authentic rugs. But guess what? Overstock.com has them for such good deals and they're legit 100 real it's crazy so i got this one it's a three by five it's thick it's awesome and i think it was like 80 90 dollars it was under a hundred dollars for a three by five like actual persian wool rug so amazing so i was really happy about that um okay yeah so there's the kitchen rug there are still that little cabinet by our needs oven a little TLC. needs a little tlc i will say the um oven vent hood doesn't work 
so yeah, we had to buy a new one so when the new one comes we'll install it and then we'll fix this cabinet because the problem is it just gets so hot without and then I've also shown you our laundry room it's currently running right now nothing special about it all right living room main action so we talked through the living room before it's like 98 percent done I just have to get well I've already gotten them but they're on their way a little bit more throw pillows and a little bit more decor to finish out this side of the shelf, which we'll show you. So, our you've seen our sofa, you've seen our coffee table, you've seen our entertainment center. Our rug came from Ruggable. I think it's perfect. It fits in the space great. I love the colors. It kind of ties everything in this room together. The lovely art. Um, this is probably my favorite piece. And it's just propped up here, crooked on the mantle right now, but we're gonna hang it. Um, it's just, we've gotta hang it on bricks, so I've gotta get the right hardware and stuff. But this is a print I got from art.com, which I, again, a new discovery. They give you the print, they do the matting, they do the framing, everything, and they ship it to you for really reasonable. I think this whole, um, like, giant print was 150 bucks or something like that. Super cheap, um, and a really great quality, really nice. So. I've still got a fireplace cover that's coming. Um, trying to think what else. Some decor for this shelf over here that still needs to be filled out. This is our lovely dog toy basket that's empty now because our dog toys were so disgusting and being home with our dog so much more, I was just like, okay, it's time. We're throwing them all out. We're buying them all brand new ones. They love, Kylo loves balls. He loves Kong balls, especially because he can't tear them up. Um, and then there's this brand called like Go Dog or I don't know. Um, it's a dog toy brand you can find at like TJ Maxx, but it's really good. They come like unstuffed. They're really soft and cool. They have the cutest little animal shapes. So I went ham on Chewy.com and bought more more money than I would like to admit worth of dog toys for our dogs that should be here soon. So this basket will be full of new dog toys that won't stink that I'm so excited about. Okay, and then here's the couch. I'm not loving these throw pillows. I do. Eric loves them. I have a couple more throw pillows coming that are more muted that I'll put in front of them to kind of tone them down. I think they're a little too bright for this room. Um, so I may end up sticking them somewhere else. We'll see. Not totally in love with them yet. I like them. I love this room. I think it's great. So I just have to finish Me out. <laughs> Just have to finish out the shelf right there. Get some more throw pillows. That is so close on my face, oh my gosh. So that's our house, or at least the living part of it. Like I said, we'll show you the bedrooms and the back half of the house later, but. Oh, we forgot to show them the little bath. There's a little half bath. That is so long. There's a little half bath over there. It's real boring. Um, nothing special about it. Um, We'll show you the hall and the other three bedrooms and bathrooms in a different vlog. But I'm very happy with the way it's coming together. As the other tiny little details come into place, I'll show you periodically in other vlogs. Um, but for the most part, I'm really happy with it. It's a great place to be. It's all coming together very nicely. I stuck to the freaking budget for the most part. Yeah. Um, and we did great. What do you think, Scrimp? Any final words? I like it. I'm a little hyper. All right, well, that's all. Thank you guys for hanging out with us this weekend. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.